Hello, what is going on guys? Hockey Guy one here. Welcome to my ranking of the 11 Star Wars movies. Starting off at number 11, I got Star Wars The Phantom Menace. And this movie is pretty much a disaster. I mean, there's barely anything good about it. I mean, there's like one good lightsaber duel between Darth Maul and Obi and Qui Gon, and really, there isn't really much else to this movie besides that. I mean, the story is just completely inconsistent as it tries to be like this whole political film on Naboo, and then kind of goes to Tatooine and has all these Anakin things that just don't really connect to the main storyline. And then it's just all over the place, really. And and then I definitely like, waste such a big character like Obi Wan as he doesn't really do much in this movie. And then and Pad Padme is kind of the same thing. They don't really do much with her. And then you know the the like, Anakin's just not very good good in this movie. I mean, he's more just a annoying child. Doesn't really do that much. And it's just that. He feels like there's, there's not very much to him, to be honest. I mean, he's just this little kid, like, pod racing, gets, gets freed from being a slave, and there's just not really much to him, if I'm being honest. It, as, as, and then, then the whole, whole Jar Jar Bings thing, I mean, obviously, as everyone knows, Jar Jar Bings is probably, like, the worst character in all Star Wars. He's just... So annoying, he's pretty much just a useless character set him because they need a comic relief character as he's just really annoying, there's just nothing much to his character, he's not really funny, I mean all his jokes are just, just either he's clumsy or just a childish joke and it's just that this movie felt like it had so much potential yet, yet it, it was such wasted. Coming in at number 10, I got Star Wars Attack of the Clones. And this movie is probably the worst made Star Wars movie, but personally I enjoy it a little bit more than the last movie, as there are just definitely more elements that I kind of like about it. Like, Battle of Genosis kind of entertains me. It's just kind of, probably the only reason why it's above it. And then, plus there's plus Jar Jar, but that doesn't really mean that much. And it's Jar Jar does kind of like... Have an important, so kind of an important role. I mean, he gives all the power to some green chancellor, which pretty much just is another one of those coincidental plans that Emperor Palpatine has, which is kind of my main problem with his his character in these prequels is just that his plans don't make sense. They just feel completely coincidental to, it, and it just doesn't really help that much when there's like a whole love story in this movie that just feels completely forced because for the most part they don't really look like they like each other that but then all of a sudden Adam and Anakin end up getting married when it doesn't even seem like they like each other for the most part. I mean the whole love story doesn't really have realistic dialogue that it makes sense. I mean the dialogue's just cringe in it. Like there's I don't like sand, it's coarse and roughing it's everywhere. There's not just the men but the women and children too. There's also the uh, I slaughter them like an animal's line, which is just kind of, these are just, so I feel lines that are cringy, I mean, they just really don't work, I mean, they just feel really cringy and out of place for this movie, and then, like, of course, this movie has the, probably the worst lightsaber doing all Star Wars with Yoda, Anakin, Obi-Wan, fighting Count Dooku, it literally just kind of starts like this, Obi-Wan runs in, and easily gets defeated by Count Dooku, then Anakin, Come, comes in, he has a, a semi-long fight with him, then gets his arm chopped off, and then Yoda comes in, which I guess they did a kind of cool force stuff, and then, and then it's just a bunch of CGI flips from there, which just, is just, doesn't really work out for this movie at all, and it just, it just feels like, uh, that's something else about this movie, it's CGI, and this does not age well, I mean, it just looks completely outdated and terrible. I mean, you know, it just all these CGI flips that they use for Yoda, like I mentioned, is just completely unrealistic and doesn't even look convincing. And then, pretty much, a lot of the backgrounds in this movie are CGI, and they're like clear in CGI and doesn't work. And then they CGI Yoda's face, which doesn't really look like the puppet, which is something I don't really agree with them doing with this movie.
I'm at number 10, I got Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, and this movie just, just keeps getting worse and worse every time I rewatch it. I mean, the movie is now down to, like, mediocre to me. I mean, you know, he's kind of looking at it like the first two acts just feel like filler, don't really seem like they need to be happening. Like, all this political Clone Wars stuff just feel like filler, doesn't really connect that much, and then all of a sudden... You kind of get, like, Anakin turning to the dark side, which is uh, something that, like, I feel like they kind of ruined with, with the character. I mean, just, I mean, I'm fine with him. I mean, it makes sense that he turns into the dark side. They obviously had to, but the way it's executed just doesn't really work. I mean, the whole reason why he does it is because he wasn't granted the rank of master, which just makes him feel kind of childish. and kind of shows how he, like, barely grew throughout this real she and then there's just like the CGI that still doesn't really age well as non lavably floats. And then it's just that the, the whole turning point of this movie is supposed to be like Mace Windu fighting Arsenius or the Emperor Palpatine. And it's just that I feel like that lightsaber duel was just terrible. I mean, it just kind of started off easily killing three, three Jedi Masters and then, and then just keep hitting... Lightsabers while moving backwards, and all, and all of a sudden, you got, the, you got Palpatine being defeated, and all of a sudden, Anakin run, runs in there and chops up his hand, and he's dead, and which I feel like is a death that doesn't really work in my opinion. I mean, it's just, it's just him chucking him out of a, of a window, and it just doesn't even feel like he's actually dead. You know, uh, and it just feels like this whole, uh, whole scene just wasn't really well executed. But however, and unlike the two movies below this, there are plenty of good things I could be saying about this movie. I mean, you and McGregor, he did a good job, and and I definitely think Obi Wan as the whole Jedi master works through, and then the lightsaber duel between Obi Wan and Anakin was very emotional, especially at the end, where he's saying all these lines like "You were the chosen one," which just makes me think, why couldn't the whole movie be like this? I mean. It just uh, it's, it feels like that that was just a really good scene, but before this movie, it just felt like absolute filler, and I really wish that the whole movie could have been like this, as it just was a really well executed scene that's very emotional to it, and then there's kind of like Yoda and Palpatine, which I mean I didn't really like them when they were kind of hitting with lights, they were just kind of seeing Yoda flip again, but then all of a sudden. When they do like this whole force panel with like all of the Senate kind of things, I really liked that part of it. I felt like that one was really cool to see more of Yoda in action, and I do feel like that part was well executed. And it's just that this movie just definitely could have been better, but it's still overall it's a mediocre movie that does have some good elements to it. Number eight, I got Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. Which is obviously the newest installment in this franchise, which I liked overall, but there are definitely aspects of it that definitely fail, and so I can see how many people don't like this movie. I mean, the story, I do felt like, had its issues, I and mean, there are good things about it, like the whole mission kind of thing, I, I liked that kind of execution, but there are also things about it that I didn't feel like were executed well, like just how bring back Palpatine and everything about it. I mean, that part just kind of felt like it was badly executed. And then the structure is also just kind of mixed. I mean, there are good, good and bad things about it. I mean, the first act and the ending was kind of bad, but there were like the second act and climax that I felt like were really good in it. But this movie is kind of like well paced, unlike the prequels, which is why I definitely would rather watch this over the prequels. And it. There are definitely aspects of it that that are like enough to put this above the prequels. Like the action is better than I feel like, and the prequels really had it as there are just a bunch of of lightsaber duels between Kylo Ren and Rey, which felt well executed. And then of course like the climax that was all the whole build up to this movie with Emperor Palpatine and. It just, I felt like this movie was pretty well executed with action. I think they did a very good job keeping it emotional. And even Kylo Ren, I mean, there are some things I like about him. I mean, his whole redemption arc, I think, 
kind of makes sense. I mean, it just works in my, kind of works in my opinion, but there are also things about it that don't really work about it. And then, it's just that uh, acting in this movie, I also feel like there's very good, like, Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, Oscar Isaac, I mean, I feel like they all did a pretty good job in it. I definitely like how they do end up having Ray get all these full powers. I mean, in sure there are always criticisms that she is a Mary Sue, which I see how that she is a Mary Sue, but I do feel like overall they did a pretty good job kind of like developing her throughout this trilogy. And this movie kind of like showed that, in my opinion. And, and I do feel like this movie overall did do a pretty good job with Ray's character. And as well as Pose, I felt like they did a pretty good job kind of like adding depth to him. And then Finn, uh, unfortunately, I do feel like they did a bad job with Alex. Um, but there are two good things, of course. A lot of them, like visual effects, I do feel like look pretty good. I mean, you know, they do look very stunning throughout the sequel trilogy, and this movie is just like kind of no different. And, and I definitely feel like they do a good job with them. And then this movie is very flawed. However, I did enjoy it and find it to be a somewhat good movie that I can definitely watch. Number seven, I got Solo, a Star Wars story. I don't feel like this movie is kind of underrated. I mean, I definitely do like certain aspects of this movie. I mean, in there are things that I don't really like. I like most of the new characters, like Woody Harrelson's character and Amelia Clark's character. They don't really do much with her. It doesn't really make that much sense for them to really be in this movie that much. And then there are other aspects that don't really work. Like the main villain of this movie, I felt like was pretty weak. Then really feel that intimidating, wasn't really worth female, and then like the whole ending kind of like showing Darth Maul talking to Amelia Clark's character, I mean I do feel like that whole ending just doesn't really make that much sense, I mean why exactly did they put Darth Maul in, in this movie, I, I don't know, I mean he doesn't really connect to, to this whole story, I mean, Alden Ehrenreich might not be as good as Harrison Ford is. However, I do feel like he did a pretty good job in this movie. I mean, he does feel like character. He does a pretty good job with his acting. And, of course, they had Donald Glover, who's kind of him. You know, I don't think he's as good as Billy D. Williams, but I still feel like he did good in his own right. But and I do feel like this movie does do a good job, like showing Han Solo's backstory, which I felt like was pretty neat. And I also like how they kind of show how he tied up with Chewie. I mean, that was something that I feel like they kind of needed to be explained because we never really knew how they ended up getting together. And I do feel like they do a very good job kind of explaining that. And then, and then also kind of showing how the Millennium Falcon became his. I do feel like. That was an explanation that was needed, and it does work. You know, there are kind of story problems with it. I mean, it it's not necessarily the most consistent story in the world. I mean, there are certain things that probably could have been left out into the story, but I do feel like it's overall pretty well done for the most part. And I feel like, as a whole, this movie is pretty good despite its flaws. Number six, I got Star Wars The Force Awakens, which this movie is definitely flawed. I mean, there are issues with it. I mean, in there are kind of something I didn't really like how, how they ended up having to make Rey defeat Kylo Ren just like that. I mean, she just, like, knew she had Force powers and she, and then she kind of defeats him. I didn't really like that aspect of her, her character. However, there are things I like about her character. However, like... Just kind of, just, just how she kind of you know, started to know she had the fours and just kind of how she's like a ravenger at first and just kind of just tries to, you know, win. And just, I like those kind of aspects of her character. However, I don't really like how they just made her defeat Kylo Ren. But I do still feel like Kylo Ren is a pretty intimidating villain for the most part. I mean, he is pretty good and he, and he ends up killing his own, own uh father unfortunately i mean you know i do kind of see how one could not really like that death however i do kind of like the execution of it i mean it's very emotional like to see such a big character get killed off and just kind of see you know kind of happen from his son i mean it's kind of emotional to see that 
And then this is kind of how about execute. I feel like the whole story of this movie is it's not how I feel like and I mean this the whole first story or in resistance kind of battle I like I mean though I would probably like eliminate anything that really involves in Star Killer Base because there's nothing really that much different about Star Killer Base than there is with like the Death Stars. I mean you know it's just kind of like a weapon that destroys systems instead of planets kinda. I mean I do feel like that was just kind of unnecessary to like put in the plot, but you know, there's just like I said, like a few problems I have with this. But as I feel like it's overall a pretty damn good movie. I mean, there are definitely a lot of good things about it. Like the whole kind of lightsaber riddle with Ray Finn and Kylo Ren, I do felt like was good. However, I don't like I said earlier, I don't really agree with having Ray go on top of Kylo Ren because she just knew she had force powers and didn't really have much training. But there are still things I know that like to that I really like as it, it's pretty engaging in my opinion. I mean, obviously this movie is just trying to set up like the rest of the trilogy. Yeah, but uh last trilogy does kinda go up go against but I can get into that later why I kinda like how Last Jedi does that. But I do overall kinda feel like Force Awakens is a good good movie. However, they're definitely better. Number five, I got Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. This movie is pretty much made to fill in the plot hole, and I feel like they did a really good job with that, just kind of showing all these people on through and pretty much putting their lights on the line just to try and get these Death Star plans to the Rebels. And I think they did a very good job with that, and as it is really just meant to fill in the plot hole, and I definitely agree with the fact that this movie should be made. To do that, I mean, it's something that we didn't really know about that much, and I feel like they did a, a good job, enough job. However, there are some, like, character problems here and there, like, that most of our main characters, I just felt like, have the lack of memorability, really, and I just don't really have that much character to them. I mean, most of them are just like, to be honest, and I feel like that's just one, one of the biggest flaws of this movie, and there aren't really many other flaws of this movie, to be honest, I mean... Overall, I did feel like this movie was pretty fun, and this was a very good emotional movie to put in that does a good job filling in plot holes. Number four, I got Star Wars The Last Jedi. I know, obviously, this is probably going to be a very controversial pick, but I do re really like The Last Jedi. I mean, I know there are a bunch of people who don't like it, which, I mean, fair enough, you don't like it. It film, all, it's all film is subjective, but... Things that I do personally like about this movie is just I feel like it, it does a very good job kind of in continuing. And I mean, sure, it does kind of go against something The Force Awakens, but I do like the whole direction that Ryan Johnson decided with it. I mean, I agree with most of the things that he did in this movie, and I definitely think it was a pretty smart idea to continue the franchise that way. I mean, it's pretty much just, it kind of shows how Luke's character changes. I mean, I know that, like, that's, like, one thing that a lot of people don't like, which, again, like, it's their opinion. I don't really care here. But what I do like about Luke, Luke in this movie is I do feel like that he just feels like he, he goes through a full character arc. I mean, you totally understand why she's all planning on him. I mean, he, he let that arc side return because he made a mistake in the past. So he just kind of wants him to stay there and make himself die there, which I feel like it's, it's fair. I mean, I like how they did that character. But then all of a sudden he, like, comes in, like, in this forced, forced projection thing and, and tries to uh, stop the res to first order and let the resistance escape. I really like that. I mean, I, that's something I really like about his character. I mean, it goes through that full development into doing that and and it's just that uh, I really like that I mean I thought that was the perfect way to send them off in my opinion at least and that was just very well done in my opinion and and I do feel like he posed for you in this movie and Ray I like they did a did a bit more with her character which is something I definitely like but then and I feel like even if that isn't exactly a lightsaber duel with like Luke and Kylo Ren, I mean, it's not exactly a lightsaber duel, it doesn't really do much, but I really like the emotion that it sends it. I mean, it may just be a bit of like swing, 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 I mean, so I don't really consider it that much of a lightsaber duel, but I feel like that does bring 
a lot of emotion to this, and that this is what I really like about it. Number three, I got the original one, Star Wars A New Hope, or just Star Wars, which I feel like this movie is very good. I mean, it's a completely revolutionary movie for its time. It's just... It's a, such a good story. I mean, it's such a different kind of sci-fi movie for the time, and I do feel like it was well executed. The story throughout, and it's just like you got Leia, the damsel in distress. You got Luke, who's like our little main character. Han Solo, like the cocky person, and Obi Wan, obviously the like little master. And I feel like each one was like well executed in this. And then there's Darth Vader, who I mean, it might be his weakest movie. Like I gave him. But he still has his intimidating moments, and I definitely do like how they executed him in this movie, and then just the whole the whole climax of this movie where they're going to the Death Star and trying to blow it up, and that's just that scene is just very intense. I mean, you don't know what's gonna happen. You you just it has a lot of tension to it. Will will the rebels succeed, or will they be destroyed? Kind of and. It's just a lot of tension to it, which is something that I've really liked about that scene. Number two, I got Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. This is definitely most people's number one pick, which I can totally see how, but this is my number two pick. Um, like, I, mean, I can totally see how it's some number one pick. It's an absolute masterpiece, without a doubt. I mean, it just like everything about this movie is well executed from the story, the characters, the action, the cinematography, the the visual effects, I and mean, about everything about this movie is very well executed and presented well. I mean, you get a whole story, which is pretty much just a, the whole continuation of Chuck Hollywood was done well. And then, of course, you got iconic moments like, I am your father, which is just uh, one of the biggest reveals. And, and, it's, and it's one of the best twists in all movies. I mean, it's something that you didn't really see. It kind of came out of nowhere, but at the same time, I definitely like the decision George Lucas has been doing, that, or when the writer was for this movie, at least. And I do feel like that the whole light Luke and Darth Vader lightsaber duel is just probably the best one in the time. I mean, for a while it was my second, but I kind of consider for rewatching. I, I, I watching all these movies, I kind of consider my favorite now. But now there's Luke, of course, I felt like was very good in this movie. I mean, just showing him going through all the tires of the Force and how you're getting And then there's Yoda, who was just this great master and has a lot of tips like do or do not, there is no try. Just a good tip they give. And I feel like this movie is just overall a masterpiece, but isn't quite my favorite. Number one, I got Star Wars Return of the Jedi. This movie is just like my second favorite movie of all time, so I probably like kind of knew that it was going to be here. And it's just well executed in every way, in my opinion. I mean, this whole story just kind of continues right after Empire Strikes Back with the whole rescuing Han from Jabba's palace, which, which I do really like those scenes. It just really works as a continuation of the last movie and just all the attention to it. I mean, He's just killing out child like that works for me and then yes when it works just as long as you and then of course once there's the whole Emperor Palpatine which is this is his first movie and he's just so intimidating this movie just the way it tries to turn Luke and that's what he's doing. It's just perfect for this movie to have as a villain and then Darth Vader's whole redemption arc is just so well done. I mean he just kind of thinks about it throughout the movie, and then when Luke is like getting zapped by the Emperor, he the, he ends up lifting the Emperor and chucking him down on the Death Star too. Which I mean, that was a very good way to send off his character. I mean, he risked his whole life for Luke, and I really like that execution. I mean, it's just a really good way to end. Darth Vader's redemption arc back to Anakin Skywalker, and it's just an emotional way to send off a, a good-ass character. I mean, I really like that scene, and then the whole ending where you got uh, three ghosts, Yoda, Anakin, and Obi-Wan is uh, showing up looking on Luke. I, I really like 
that's during the celebration. I mean, I, I really like that. It's This probably would have been another thing to try and like, end the franchise here. here. But of course, sequel trilogy does exist, but, but hey, hey, I mean, it is what it is, and the sequel trilogy was still fine, but I do feel like this was probably like the sincere ending to Star Wars. That was my updated ranking of all 11 Star Wars movies. What is your ranking of all the Star Wars movies? Tell me in the comments below. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.